All right, hi there. This is Guru Vaidya from Adobe Systems, uh, and today what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, doing some cleanup using After Effects CS6 and Photoshop. So as you can see, I've got the shot right here, and what I want to do here is I want to clean up the shot. I want to get rid of this guy, and I also want to get rid of the shoes right here in the shot. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take, we're going to drag the shot first of all, if you notice, I have a simple motion here and we're going to drag this camera in After Effects CS6, we're going to be using the new tracker, the tree tracker that's uh, in After Effects CS6 and uh, eventually at the end of the session, we should have something like this and uh, you can see I've been a little sloppy with the work here, but that's okay. That's anyways out of the safe region, so it should not be a problem. And this is what we're going to do. All right. So there's a number of ways that you can do this, but I'm just going to show you how the three tracker in After Effects can really help speed things up. So first things first, let's track the footage. So what I'm going to do is right click on the footage and I'm going to say track camera. And if you notice, We've got the three camera tracker now doing its job right here. And the best part is that it's a background process. So that doesn't really stop me from working. So for example, if I wanted to uh, do some color correction while the tracking is going on, I'm free to do that. I can come down here, for example, use the curves adjustment and make slight adjustments to the curves while the tracking is going on in the background. Right, so although that's not what I want to do right now, so I'm just going to wait until the tracking is done and we'll pick it up from there. Okay, so the tracking is complete now, and so what I'm going to do is uh, you say render track points, and so you can see the track points right here. Now, what I could have done for if, if for example, if you are working with clips like this, uh where you've got uh, a lot of random movement uh, of water bodies, like for example, what I have here, what you could do is you could mask out certain regions and just make a rough mask and just track that uh, just to ensure that the tracker is not confused and uh, uh, and also it'll help, uh, you know, if you're short on time, it can help speed things up as well. Uh, but as you can see, I did not mask any of the regions and yet it sort of, uh, it, it did a pretty good job at tracking, uh, this entire clip. And so now that the tracking is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a single frame from here and we're going to take it into Photoshop and then we're going to, we're going to use Photoshop to clean up that particular frame. So let me just turn that off and let's save out a single frame. Okay, so now that we're in Photoshop, I'm going to be using the new, uh, well, it's not new, but one of the features that we had in CS5, which is content aware fill to get rid of this guy. So first thing first, what I'm going to do is make a selection, remove the unwanted stuff here. And just so the algorithm works well, I'm going to come down here into select and just expand this by 10 pixels should be fine. And then I'm going to say edit, fill, and ensure that content aware is selected here. And say OK. And just like magic, it's gone. Uh, I'm going to do the same for the shoes as well. And then take that into After Effects and use that in our track. OK, so now that I'm back in After Effects, I'm going to take this clean plate, which we just cleaned in Photoshop, and I'm going to bring it here into my comp. All right. Um, and before I start off uh, with the mask, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to our track and I'm going to select a bunch of these points. I'm going to just come in here and select a bunch of these guys here. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say create null in camera. That creates a null right there. I'm going to rename this null as guy. No. And I'm going to do the same for the shoes as well. So I'll come back here, 
select a bunch of points here and we'll right click and say create a separate null there we'll call this uh, shoes all right um once you're done with this come back here just get rid of those track points we don't need to see them anymore okay so now that we have a clean plate I'm just gonna unhide it and I'm gonna duplicate this uh, by pressing control D and then I'm gonna rename these layers as well okay I'm gonna select the guy layer and I'm gonna draw a quick mask around where the guy was so I'm gonna select the pen tool here There you go. And I'm going to do the same for the shoes as well. So now that I have my mask created, the next thing I need to do is get these masks to move along with the footage. So if you notice now, we have the mask, uh, but since it's not being tracked, it's not moving along with the footage. So what I'm going to do now is parent these masks to the respective track tracking uh, through respective nulls that we created earlier. Get these, turn these into 3D layers as well. Since we, since we attract this in 3D. And next what I'm going to do is just parent these layers to their respective nulls. So the guy gets parented to the guy null and the shoes gets parented to the shoes null. And so now if I do a ramp review, So I made a few more adjustments to the mask there and this is what I finally got. So, so uh, well I still think there's a lot of room for improvement here but at least this should give you an idea on how you can use After Effects now really quickly uh, you know to do some cleanup work. Uh, I use the same technique on another shot which is right here wherein and this was something I shot in Delhi and uh, if you notice in this shot, you know, I had a colleague who was in the frame and so I, I pretty much used the same technique. I took a clean plate, uh, which is right here and tracked the clean plate again inside uh, in After Effects and uh, parented and, and parented it to a null and this is what I got finally. So you can use this technique to perform quick clean up. It's really fast to use and really easy to use. Uh, so I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.